Another look at adjacency matrix, this time for a digraph, a directed uh, graph. Now, we're still going to create an adjacency matrix like we did before, but this time we need to consider that it's not going to be symmetrical. Now, uh, this row, this bit here, we're going to write it's the origin. That means that's where the, the tail of the arrow is. Okay, so now we can do it uh, directional. So A, that arrow moves to E. Okay, so in our like food chain example, A gets eaten by E. All right, so the origin of the arrow was A, and then we're going to E. So A to E, yes, that happens. Now let's do the, uh, the other version, E to A. Okay, that doesn't happen. E doesn't go to A. E, we start at E, and we can't get to A. Zero. E doesn't get eaten by A. So now that we've done one, let's do everything in order. Uh, A to A, there's no loop there. Zero. Uh, B to B, there's no loop there. Zero. C to C, there's no loop there. Zero. D to D, there's no loop there. Zero. And E to E, there's no loop there. Zero. So we get this leading... Um, this diagonal of zeros if there's no loops. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see. A to B, no eating. A to C, all right. So A to C is a zero. We can't get from A to C because it's a directed graph. So I'm going to put that as a zero. And A to D, yes, we can go from A to D. So that's a one. Uh, B to A, B to A, no. B to C, yes, one. B to D, no. B to E, yes. Okay, C to A, C to A, yes, we can do that. C to B, no, the arrow is going in the wrong direction. C to D, no. C to E, no. D to A, no. D to B, no. D to C, no. Uh, D anywhere, no. Okay, and finally, E, well, E to anywhere. No, there's no arrows leading out of E. There's only arrows leading into E. So, zero, zero, zero. Okay, that is an adjacency matrix of a directed graph, a digraph. Uh, now, there is no symmetry in that, okay, because A can eat E, but E can't eat A. Now, you could end up in a situation where there were two arrows. In that case, A it gets eaten by E, but also E gets eaten by A. So that is an option with a digraph for an arrow to go both ways. There's our adjacency matrix for the digraph.